So, Acho, would Tom Brady winning the Super Bowl be a bad look for Bill? Big dog, it would be, it'd be a terrible look. Like, think about you on the billboard for SFY before you, ah! before you lost them 50 Please pounds. Please do not go through any cut. Oh, good, good. Okay, yeah. They got to live in their imagination. Before you lost the 50 pounds, bro, it'd be a bad look. It was a horrible dog. look, dog. I had, like, a chin. What a chin. Like, the chin had a chin. I'm hey. not going to oh, God. shame my co-host okay. in the first minute of the show. You just did. But what I am going to say is it's a terrible look if, Tom Brady goes and wins the Super Bowl. Here's why. Mm. Marcellus, over the course of sports history, we often have to wonder what would have happened if. Okay, I like, love that. We never got to see LeBron James play against Kobe Bryant in the finals. Mm. Celtics kept LeBron James from doing that. What would have happened if? if? So we debated. We never got to see Carson Wentz in the playoffs the year they won the Super Bowl. If you're a Carson Wentz fan, surely they would have won the Super Bowl with Wentz. Mm. If you're a Carson Wentz hater, nah, they wouldn't have won it. They needed Nick Foles. What would have happened if? But the beauty of this Brady-Belichick debate we don't have to wonder what would have happened oh, if I Tom so. Brady's without Belichick, because we're seeing it in front of our very eyes. Tom Brady, without Bill Belichick, is back in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, without Bill Belichick, may win a Super Bowl. Mm. So we don't have to wonder mm. what would have happened with Tom Brady if he wouldn't have played with Belichick. How good would Belichick have been if he wouldn't have had Tom Brady? Because mm. we're seeing it play out in front of us. Terrible, terrible, terrible look for Bill Belichick that Tom Brady's having this much success without him. Mm. Because maybe we wonder, well, a head coach, he has an impact on all 53 players, so surely Bill Belichick definitely influenced Tom Brady more than Tom Brady influenced Bill Belichick. Ah, 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 not so fast. Because mm. Bill Belichick's sitting at home right now and Tom mm. Brady about to play for another big one. In sports, we don't always get the luxury of knowing what would have happened if. But Right now, we see exactly what's happening. Tom Brady back in the Super Bowl. Bad look for Bill Belichick. Bad look for Bill Belichick. Yes, sir. Absolutely incorrect right there, Acho. I know you can see this one. Take the glasses off. I know you can see without them, too. <laughs> you know this is not a bad look. Damn, people, are y'all this petty? Are y'all really this petty? I am. I am. Uh, it, it sounds that way, and it sounds simple-minded, too, and I know you're a complex man, brother, but where are you looking at this one all the way wrong? One, it won't have an adverse effect on Bill Belichick because the two situations are completely different. We had this conversation off mic, yes, I think, one day walking through the hallways. When people say Tom Brady left, they never finish the sentence and say, who else left with Tom Brady? Who else retired? Who else came and underachieved? They never talk about all the other variables that come with just Tom Brady leaving mm -hmm. and what Bill Belichick had to deal with. I remind people, Bill Belichick, at his worst, just went seven to nine with a league-wide, league-high eight opt-outs for COVID. And there were some starters in there as well. And more importantly, they were three and four in one possession games. What? Bill Belichick was that close to having a winning record with this sorry roster full of underachievers and injuries and opt-outs. But damn, don't tell me Bill Belichick is that close to maybe having eight, nine, 10 wins because they were so close so many times. But I haven't even got to my point yet. Let's get to my point. It's clickbait to say this. It's clickbait to just talk divorce talk. It's clickbait to just say Tom Brady is winning the divorce over Bill Belichick because it's too soon. Okay. And you're on this seesaw where it has to have an adverse effect based on what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm not on that seesaw because I have seen this situation play out before where it didn't hurt someone's legacy because of a departure and success in that departure. I ask you, um, when Kawhi Leonard, my guy Kawhi Leonard, left the Spurs and Greg Popovich, who's the best active NBA coach, if not one of the best ever as an NBA coach, did it hurt his legacy when he went to Toronto and won a championship with Nick Nurse? When people say, oh, Popovich, you can't coach anymore. Nick Nurse is on your left. Oh, uh, I thought about that this morning on that Peloton losing them 50 pounds. Okay, what about this one when Peyton Manning, uh, who took four different head coaches to the Super Bowl, and he won with Coach Dungy. And then he went out there and won again with the Broncos. Everybody look at Coach Dungy and say, uh-huh, Coach Dungy, you can't coach. Get off of NBC. You don't know what you're talking about. No one went there. Let's go to other sports. What about Phil Jackson when he won with Shaq 
and when he won with Kobe, did anybody look at Jordan and say, uh-huh, see, you can't play. Uh-oh, it's all about Phil Jackson. Mm. What about Pat Riley when he won with the Heat? Did they everybody look at Magic Johnson different? Like, damn, Magic, I thought it was you and the Lakers. It was just Pat Riley. My point is, brother, because of likability, because of pettiness, people just want to pick something and have drama with it. They are independent of each other, because guess what? They are not even on the same team right now. Ooh, I know I dropped My something. Dog. I dropped My a dog. mic or something. I'm so something. proud of you. I'm proud I'm so, of you. I'm so, because I'm so, patch on because peak performance, peak performance okay. is when optimal ability meets an optimal challenge. When Ooh. optimal ability meets an optimal challenge. You need challenge a challenge to have people to have peak you performance. Do? That's what studies show. That's what psychology okay. shows. Optimal ability meets an optimal challenge. You just presented me an optimal challenge with that take. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm about to peak. Um, <laughs> Players retire because of Bill Belichick. Players come out of retirement because of Tom Brady. Okay. That Poetic. means something. That does. That's <laughs> Players it. retire because mm -hmm. of Belichick, and they come out of retirement because of Tom Brady. That's my first bar, and don't worry, I got enough bars here <laughs> to build a prison, but I'm not going to do that because we're reforming. <laughs> <laughs> now, with, the, with that being said, you mentioned some great takes, and I love that. You said, we don't question Popovich when Kawhi left him. Hell no. We don't question Phil Jackson when he won with the Lakers. We don't question this person, that person. Let me break this down for you, Big Bro Cell, if I may. Oh, God. The issue here is Bill Belichick never won as a head coach before Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. So all of Bill Belichick's wins came with Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. So when Tom Brady goes and leaves, now we question Bill Belichick because he never won as a head coach well, without Tom Brady. Well, he won. He didn't win a Super Bowl. Yeah, correct. That's okay. my point. Number Cleveland. one, Super Bowl. Don't forget Cleveland's past success yes, was 1994 Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Okay. But Eleven he didn't wins. win as a head coach, not a Super Bowl. Playoff game. Popovich won chips before Kawhi. Yep. So it's not a matter of can Popovich win Kawhi. He won chips before without Kawhi. Real talk. Tony Dungy with the Buccaneers. Many people argue he built up that roster that John Gruden went and won with. I'm not going to stick on that point. I just Please have to don't. retort that. But let me go back to this. Michael Jordan, he didn't win before Phil Jackson. So when Phil Jackson came in and won, we're like, oh, Phil Jackson is a huge contributor to Michael Jordan's success. Mm. So that's why there's a difference here. But mm? Bill Belichick, sir, yep. he didn't win without Tom Brady as a head coach. But nobody's poking at Jordan. First of all, Jordan's legacy seems protected and poked too. Absolutely. But if you never won before Phil Jackson and then you win only because of Phil Jackson, why aren't people poking at but, like Michael but, Jordan? But people huh? say people huh? say this. Hmm? Man, without Scottie Pippen. You've heard that. You watched oh, the last yeah, without Scottie Pippen. You watched the whole last day. Like, you watched, like, man, without the assembly of the talent, people, people, people do ask the, man, what would Jordan have done without Pippen? People aren't asking that about Brady no more. No, no, and that's you, the point. But you're They're not, not asking that. I wish you would stop there and say, what if if Bill Belichick can't win without Tom Brady? You're not asking what if questions. You're condemning Bill Belichick because of the success yes. of Tom Brady. And, and Tom Brady hasn't even won a Super Bowl yet. Let me tell you. You're doing something different. Let me tell you why he's worthy of condemnation if we can have a heart to heart. <clears throat> 2005, 2000, let's start in the year 2000. Tom Brady was not the starter. The Patriots were 5 and 11. 2001, Tom Brady becomes a starter. The Patriots are 11 and 5. That's a six game difference, 37%. 2007, mm -hmm. the Patriots go 16 and 0. 2008, Tom Brady does not hurt, play because he gets hurt. They're 11 and 5. Five game difference. That's 31%. 2019, Tom Brady's on the New England Patriots. 2020, he's not. They go from 12 and 4 to 7 and 9. Five game difference. I told Reddy, told you the math, 31%. Marcellus, we have a three year sample size. Tom Brady is worthy of 30% plus of Bill Belichick's victories. Now, you can say that, well, what, what? about the guys that opted in? What about the guys that opted out? Thank From you. 2000 to 2001, Tom Brady increased by five, five wins. Mm. From 2007 to 2008, without Tom Brady, Patriots decreased by five wins. 2019 to 2020, without Tom Brady, Patriots decreased by five wins. When Tom Brady's on that team, they get win or lose five more games. Mm. That's just simple math. Facts, no <laughs> feelings. What you got? I, what I got is... <laughs> I don't want to return fire with that ammunition because now we have dropped the standard from Super Bowls, which is fine. I like that. But now we're talking about winning. Because Tom Brady didn't win every year. He went nine times to the Super Bowl. He won six. He played there for 20. So half the time, as great as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick were, half the time they weren't sitting there in the Super Bowl or winning championships. Mm -hmm. Let's correct. be real. So since we're going to go into just winning but not Super Bowl go championships... 
What about Andy Reid winning with Patrick Mahomes? Did anybody look back at Donovan McNabb and say, man, I thought you were good and great? No, because I played with Donovan McNabb. That dude was a beast. People left his legacy intact. What about Dan Reeves when he was winning with the Falcons? Everybody say, hey, John Elway, we know you've been retired for a minute, but you look kind of sorry now because Dan Reeves is winning with other quarterbacks. No, Mike Holmgren. <laughs> Winning with the Seahawks, uh, did that hurt Brett Favre's legacy when he went somewhere else and did it? The point is, man, if you don't like Bill Belichick, you got ammunition. If you're going to be objective, you have no ammunition. <laughs> Let me tell you what Bill Belichick did this year, since please, all we're going to talk about please. is what Tom Brady's done what did you and do, not sir? give Bill Belichick I'm looking. He went 7-8 and eight with Cam Newton, and I don't know if that was Superman or Superman with Kryptonite, but that wasn't the Cam Newton I expected nor you expected. Edelman, his number one receiver, mm -hmm. missed 10 games due to injury this season. So he didn't even have his number one. Then the Patriots' defense still finished top 10 in scoring, pass defense, and takeaways. Oh, you don't want to give Bill Belichick credit. A defensive-minded coach still have an impact on the defense. That's true. How about That's true. him completely revamping the offense because he had 20 years with one dude, and then he has to bring in somebody else. And guess what? They still were fourth in rushing. It's just Cam Newton in the passing game without a number one wide receiver. Couldn't get on track. My last point on What's this your last is, point? you want to tell me a coach that still got it, still has his fastball? How many penalties y'all get? Uh, Least penalized team in the NFL. About still, dis oh, really? Culture, discipline, doesn't, we can't brag about that. That's what enabled Tom Brady and everyone to fully mature and have this Super Bowl success. You want to take shots at Bill Belichick, just take the proper shots. And so far, I don't see them. Big dog. I love you. Talking about penalties is like coming on a show and saying, I hate your suit, but you got great cufflinks. Like, it's the it same. Ain't the same. It's the same. It's the same. How? It's the same. Penalties can help you lose a game. Penalties bro. are an Easy. additive when you're doing other things correctly, Stop. but don't sit here and start Stop. bragging about penalties, Stop. Marcellus. Penalties and turnovers are the boring statistics that have the greatest impact, and you know that. I'm not. Oh, you don't want to go back to the locker room. I'm not going to oh, argue with you. Oh, you want to do TV. I'm okay. not going to argue you're with you. You're right. Here. I'm not going <laughs> to argue with you here. Stop. What I'm going to say is this. What? Don't ignore what's right underneath your nose, and right underneath my nose currently is an iPad with stats I'm looking at, so I'm going to bring it to everybody's face. Let's go. Marcellus, Marcellus, in 2000, the Patriots finished fifth in their division, back when there were five teams in the division. Fifth out of fifth in the division. Right, when Tom Brady became the starter, they instantly be finished first in the division the next year. Yes. People came in the locker room, people left the locker Who room. Who else came with them? Don't know, don't care. Oh, All right, see, now that's let's the go to, no, you don't no, care. No, because I'm going to, I'm going like to, I'm going to bring okay. you a larger sample okay. size. All right, let's 2007, go. 16 and 0, first in the division. Tom Brady gets hurt, second in the division. Don't make the playoffs. 2019, Tom Brady is there, first in the division. 2020, Tom Brady is gone, third in the division out of four. Marcellus, it doesn't matter how many people come or go. If Tom Brady is there, there is a constant. The constant is excellence. Not necessarily every time a Super Bowl, but excellence. I brought up the points of New England. Let's go to Tampa, where the sun is shining. Tampa was seven in line last year without Tom seven Brady. Nine, yeah, yeah. This year with Tom Brady, 11-5. Oh, That's you ain't gonna make right me there. shoot at Brady because Brady's amazing. I've been the one I'm on Brady's wagon the whole year. I'm not shooting, at him. Not shooting at him. What no, I'm saying, I know you're trying to prop him up now. Where I've been propping what him up. What I'm saying is, I'm just not shooting at Belichick. Tom Brady is worthy of 30 percent of the wins. If you mm -hmm. get Tom mm -hmm. Brady on your Good roster, mm -hmm. you win 30 percent more than you do without him, including mm -hmm. you, Bill Belichick. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Mm -hmm. As long as you realize that Bill Belichick owes Tom Brady 30% of his victories, me and you are on the same page. We're not on the same page, and it's okay. We're in the same book. Just got to flip the page and keep going. Come to my chapter. chapter. Hell Come no. Come to my chapter. No, I like my chapter right now because my <laughs> chapter wants to highlight, you keep saying 30%. Yes, I, sir. You told me you were a bad mathematician. You told the world, actually, and I was like, damn, I thought you were pretty good at math. Surprising. All right, you're not perfect. But the year Tom Brady, before he got hurt, how many, how many wins? 16. 16. Yes, sir. Then he gets hurt and how many wins? 11. Yes, what sir. about the next year when Tom Brady comes back healthy? Did they win more? Hey! Oh, all right. No, they did not. So don't What's give me this point? 30%. What is your point? Oh, now there's no point. No, I'm asking <laughs> what your point Hold is. Hold on. Mathematician, is that 30%? Every time Tom Brady's there, 30%. His, he hits it first year from fifth place to first place. Tom Brady gets healthy after 11-5 and five team with a backup quarterback. Tom Brady, did you go out there and win more games? No, you division? did not. Did all all I'm saying is we don't have to fight. You don't have to be in this world of love and hate extremes. Fight the power. Do you remember do the right thing? <laughs> you ain't got to do that. There's a third emotion where I really live. Where? 
Apathy, brother. Objectivity, objectivity. Just stay in the middle and then treat them properly. Tom Brady deserves all the love in the world. But doesn't mean the seesaw has to happen and Bill Belichick gets no love. Let me simply ask you. I'm not saying okay. Bill Belichick should get no love. Let me ask you this. Let's not make television for a second. Yeah. Thank Bill you. Belichick without Tom Brady. Seven and nine. Thank you. With all of these variables, not adversity? Even, not even just this year. In general, Bill Belichick without Tom Brady, would he be the same? We have the answer, so I don't even know. Like, I don't know. Looking. Give me a quarterback first, and then I can ask. For, for real. Doc, he doesn't have a quarterback. But let me ask and you. And you're talking about Cleveland? Cleveland? Is that? Who's, who's, you drafted Jared Stidham. You oh, drafted oh, him. Oh, and then oh, he, and he wasn't oh, good. That's fine. Oh, That's fine. I'm not oh, going to be mad at you for that. Oh, then you chose oh, Cam Newton. Oh, and you chose Cam Newton late. Oh, I'm just saying, Self, so, whose fault is I that? I got the answer. Because he drafted Jimmy G. And read, Jimmy G oh, went to a Super Bowl oh, with some other cats. I don't love him, but Jimmy G went to a Super Bowl with some cats. Oh, he drafted Jacoby Brissett. I didn't know you wanted Brissett to do this. Brissett made some noise with some other cats. I'm just saying, oh, I didn't know whose you fault to is that, Sal? He's okay. a GM. Okay, you ready for this? Please. This is the real answer. I hope people understand this and have been Please. able to connect the dots over the years. Bill Belichick did draft Jimmy G yes, in 2014. Absolutely right. Probably premature for Tom Brady's decline because he still went to three Super Bowls. Yes, one, two, and then won an MVP. That so, chill. But... In this moment, when G Bill Belichick is being the GM, he thought he had autonomy. He thought he could do what he wanted to do. Now, there's an agent by the name of Don Yee that represents Tom Brady, represents Jimmy G, and consults with Bob Kraft. So Bill Belichick drafts Jimmy G, mm -hmm. same agent as Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. No friction. Why? We got the same agent. We could talk backdoor about situations. But it became a situation of friction when Bill Belichick wanted to move on from Tom Brady. Because Bill Belichick's way is get rid of him a year sooner than later. You follow me? Track with I'm me. Tracking, as you say. I'm trying to. I'm trying. You ready? So all of a sudden, it comes down from a high from Bob Kraft. Hey, sorry. Can't keep your guy, the heir apparent, Jimmy G here. You don't have a quarterback when your plan of succession and heir apparent was already in place. That threw them back. So all of a sudden, who is their quarterback now? June 28th, Cam Newton coming off the streets and Instagram videos, bro. <laughs> Wait till Bill Belichick gets his quarterback that he wants, and then we can make this decision. Question. Can I? Can I? Can you call on me? I just broke can that down. Can you call on me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Mayo Acho. You actually just made me more frustrated with Bill Belichick. Let me tell you why. Because he got punked by the owner? If Bill Belichick doesn't get punked by Robert Kraft, per your words, how long is Tom Brady actually there? Because Bill Belichick might have three less Super Bowls than he has right now. I don't know. If Bill, he might not, but he might have three less Super Bowls if Bill Belichick did what he wanted to do, which was get rid of Tom Brady in 2014 or 15 after Jimmy uh, G sits four years. Sure. Let me take it one step further. Oh, we're going hard. How are you going to claim that it's not Bill Belichick's fault when he is the GM. You say, okay, Bill Belichick, give him time. Well, then let to him find keep the guys he want to keep. The last time the Patriots drafted a player that went to a Pro Bowl was 2013, Jamie Collins. The same Jamie Collins that Bill Belichick traded to the Browns in his prime. Right. Now, the, Bills, the, the Patriots, I think, have a Pro Bowl punter this year. So the last time they had a <laughs> Pro Bowl player that wasn't a special teams player. So... Bill yes. Belichick is actually benefiting from Robert Kraft stepping in what? and is actually, from what you said. No, no, from no. What you said. You didn't read he that properly. You didn't read that properly. Listening. Listen, listen, listen. No, I didn't say you weren't listening. You just didn't read it properly. How did all those Pro Bowl players on all the other 31 teams work out for them? They didn't have Tom Brady. How did it work out? It didn't for work them? out great. How did they work Brady? out for them? They it didn't, didn't work out as well. You still in this talent vacuum. Dog, mental mindset. Whatever Tom Brady possesses, whatever Bill Belichick possesses, will take your talent level and make you greater than even that. You're not respecting that. And also, I don't know what Tom Brady would have done outside of New England earlier. And I don't know what Jimmy G would have done in New England if he was allowed to stay. But if you want to look at Tom Brady in the postseason, and you want to look at these postseason numbers, you're trying to tell me that uh, you're trying to tell me that Jimmy G couldn't go to the Super Bowl and go 21 of 35 and 262 and no touchdowns? You're trying to tell me Jimmy G could... I'm, all I'm saying is Bill Belichick had a mindset and a vision that wasn't allowed to come to fruition. Here's all I know. Here, this That's is all, all I might know. I know nothing else in life besides my suits are tight and what I'm about <laughs> to tell y'all right now. Right. The only thing I know is Bill Belichick without Tom Brady, his performance decreases. Oh!
Tom Brady without Bill Belichick is back in the Super Bowl. Oh. That's all I know. Oh, you That's mean? all I know, Martellus. Well, 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 I love you on the top layer, but I'm going to dive into the deep end. Let's mess Don't drown. Up. I'm Don't drown. I won't drown. I've been swimming for a minute. Um, stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you stereotype me? Nah, uh, I wonder if Jimmy G could have went last year before Tom Brady left New England and went 20 of 37, 54% completion percentage, 209 yards, no touchdowns, and one interception, and a quarterback rating of 59. I wonder if Jimmy G had that. In him. Bill Belichick is job preservation, loving this situation, dynastic coach, is sitting there like, y'all really played me, but I'll take the bullets. You know why? Because one day, really soon, I choked up. I'm going to return <laughs> fire on y'all butt.